BCB Kicks here and we're back again for another episode and today we're going to be cleaning a pair of shoes that I got for the low. Some of you all might know what's in this box before I even open it, but um, this won't be too bad of a job. It's honestly going to be perfect. This is the type of flips that, that we want. The shoes that are in decent condition that we won't have to do too, too much to, but will give you good profit margins. So let's get into it. And before we get into this restoration, I want you all to drop a like and if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and then comment for any more shoes you want to see me restore in the future. So, without further ado, let's open this box. Opening the box, we have a pair of Jordan 3, we have a pair of Jordan 3 Cardinal Reds. And there's actually a funny story behind these. Before I get into that, uh, I bought these for $85. Yes, $85, like take a look at these. These really aren't even, these really aren't even uh, dirty for real, honestly. Like, they're, they're a little bit dirty, except by the bottoms. But these are in really good condition. All the stars are there. Like, not, not much heel drag at all. Like, these are really good. Size 12. And the story behind these is, I actually sold these to one of my students who, I you know, comes to me for help on restorations. And I sold them to him, like, last summer. And he actually needed some cash, so he sold them back to me. And it's kind of funny that these are actually in this good condition, but he gave me a steal. So we're gonna clean these up and you know decide to make a video out of them. And we're gonna get some good profits. So brand new, I think these in a size 12 are going for around, I want to say 280 to 300 possibly, I might be wrong, but what I'm looking to resell these for is probably around 150 to 170 range to, um, after I clean them they'll look pretty much like new, they're barely worn for real, just a little bit dirty, but decent profit margins. And of course to start this restoration I'm going to be using rejuvenators cleaning supplies so if you all ever need some rejuvenator go ahead and use cold btb kicks for 10 percent off it helps me out and help you out and amen so since this restoration is going to be pretty simple all we're really going to need is rejuvenators cleaning solution as well as the three brush pack and rejuvenator that's really honestly it i'm going to be using their shoe trees of course to put in there while i clean the shoes and about to be an easy flip so let's do this so for this restoration i'm going to place one shoe to the side while i work on one and we're going to get it cleaning i'm really going to go into more detail with uh, um, how i detail the shoes so you can see like basically what i kind of do to get these ready for a customer since it won't really be too much restoration work on these but first start out by taking out the laces how did he lace these oh my oh there we go okay. boom It's always crazy seeing how people lace their shoes, but this wasn't too crazy. All right, laces are out. I already have uh, the rejuvenator bowl filled with water and solution. Dip this in. Soft bristle brush to start out. I'm just gonna go straight in, creating suds with the soft bristle brush. I feel like cleaning threes, especially on a leather upper, is more forgiving than some of the other shoes where it's just more delicate materials. This is really a good intro shoe to learn how to sh clean shoes on or just practice on. But fairly simple, you're just gonna use a soft bristle brush on the uppers, and then we're gonna move on to the medium bristle, the medium bristle brush momentarily. Why don't you all comment down below, what's your favorite Jordan 3? And did any of you all get those new uh, reimagined 3s? I still need a pair. Make sure you clean behind the tabs. Boom. Now the initial clean is pretty much done. That was very quick. Just gotta wipe it, wipe it down now. The cloth, just to see what I missed. 
And then I'm going to move on to the medium bristle brush. So, <clears throat> just looking at these, these are already pretty good, so I won't have to hit the mid, the uppers with the um, medium bristle brush, I don't think. So I'm just going to dive straight into the the midsoles and, and the outsoles with the medium bristle brush. So, medium bristle, boom. that off see what we got all right so let's move on to the outsoles um, <clears throat> turn it over same thing Now I'm going to move on to the stiff bristle brush to clean the outsoles as well as the midsoles a little bit more. And then to finish off the outsoles, I already have my steam gun ready to go. It's an essential. If you want to melt the dirt off of the bottoms, the steam gun is the way to go. So here we are. As you can see, the bottoms are looking very good. Now I just gotta wipe them down. Actually, I'm gonna rinse them off. All right, got the wipe down. Let's do another detail check. Got something right here. Get the stiff bristle brush one more time. Everything seems to be in tip top shape. And the small like blemishes that I see on the shoes, I'll go back with the with the uh, microfiber cloth and see if it'll come out. So small stuff, but overall. The shoe is pretty much done. All I have to do now is wait for it to dry and I'll get back to y'all. All right, y'all. So the shoes are now dry. They look amazing. They just look phenomenal. Like, I, these just came out super good. So all that's really left for me to do is to take care of, like, some loose threads around the inside of the shoes, cut those off, snip those off, and then put the laces back in. And that's pretty much a wrap. So the other shoe is, is drying right now. It's under the fan. But yeah, we're just going to go in and clip these loose ends real quick. Loose threads. Alright. And now we'll put the laces back in.
right, so the shoes are now dry and they've been laced back up. As you can see, they are looking very close to brand new. I'm not gonna say pads, but, or pass as this uh, for anybody who doesn't know, but um, these are very good. Bottoms looking good. Like, hey, I'm thinking I could probably get 180 for these. That's what I'm gonna shoot for out the gate, but I wanna get at least 150. I plan on listing these on the typical apps that I do, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, and then maybe eBay if they don't move fast enough. But uh, once these sell, I'll get back to you all with the, the numbers and I'll see you all then. All right, y'all. So the shoes have sold. It is now a couple days, maybe even a week later, but the customer who bought them is actually here with me right now. So instead of closing out the video, how I typically do, I want to give you all a live reaction. So here we are. Ethan Johnson here. This is my boy, Blake. I met him last year, uh, kind of chopped it up a little bit. You know, he's friends with my roommate. Told me about his, his little shoe hustle he got. And this is my second pair I bought from him. I bought the uh, the Cool Grays a few months ago. And then uh, I like how those turned out, so I had to hop on the threes. So I'm excited to see how they look. Check them out, man. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah. I need to give me a red pair, because uh, I go to Arkansas State. Our mascots are Red Bulls, so I'm glad I picked these up, man. These are straight, thank you. No problem, bro, glad you like them. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much a wrap on this video. I bought the shoes for $85 and I was able to flip them for 140, which gives me a $55 profit. And as you can see, he was pretty happy. We ended up chopping it up for a little bit, but he finally left and now I'm back to film this little outro. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I have more to come soon. You might see a little change of scenery because this is kind of like the last few days of me being in my apartment, um, given that I'm graduating on Friday and it is currently Wednesday night. So um, if you all see a new setting, that means that I'm back in Chicago where I belong and I'll be opening my store very soon. So like I said before, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one.